Victor, uh, Jamie Vinnick for uh, Coop fans. Uh, you kind of just come in there a bit on a whim. You know, Jake gets hurt and you start the second half. Um, throw your first two touchdowns, you know, really look good in the process. It just uh, how ready did you kind of feel you were for that moment when the coach tells you that you're going to be the guy here in, in this stage? Uh, I just always prepare myself to be ready. Um, I got a great group of guys, group of men behind me that trusted me and they give me faith in myself. And Coach Dickert great, gave us a great speech coming out of halftime. And um, I just really felt the guys had my back, and that gave me a lot of confidence. We saw Brock Drew make his college debut. Um, that's mine. And, uh, you know, his, uh, he looked like he really stepped in well. It was kind of a trial by fire type of situation. Um, what did you kind of see from him blocking in front of him? Yeah, I'm really proud of him. He kept his composure. He was never too high, never too low. He stayed the same and um, really played uh, really smart and really confident. Lincoln, uh, career high in receiving yards for you. You get the touchdown, um, you know, had the big 55 yard catch and run. Um, it just, do you kind of in your eyes see this as a preview for next year when you're going to be, you know, really a, a key part of that inside receiver, inside receiver spot? Um, well, I try to take it day by day, but, um, you know, all hard work pays off. Um, it never goes unnoticed, so I, I feel like I was ready for this spotlight. I was ready for this, um, for this moment. And uh, obviously, you know, coming back next year, I'm looking forward to it, but. I got a lot of work to do. Um, this is just a sample of what I can do, what, what I can showcase. Um, I'm really proud of my teammates. Uh, I can more grateful for them, always making me better every single day. Uh, I can't thank them enough. I just wish we could have finished a little bit better. And for those that don't know, um, the Jimmy Rogers Jr. most valuable lineman was uh, Mr. Ron Stone Jr. from Washington State. The defense. Ron, I know you've said in the past the accolades, it doesn't mean a whole lot, but you know, it's just nice to have that, you know, that honor under your belt after just what's been a spectacular year for you. Yeah, no, definitely. That's uh, just a nice little way to end off this year and then just get back to the lab and a lot more focus for this next year. RJ, uh, Coach Shaker kind of talked about it a little bit, but what is this? You know, obviously not the result you guys want, but the way you came back, maybe when people thought you the second half for a little bit, what does it say about kind of the resolve? Team, uh, throughout the season. Yeah, definitely. You know, they they started faster than us, and uh, we were we had to get back into it. And I don't think anyone quit on our team. You know, that's something that you can always count on for us, and <clears> something you always need on a defense. You know, or just on a whole team in general. If everyone's, it's the whole bend don't break mentality. And as long as all of us have it, we'll be in good shape the whole time. Brian Green from you. Um, Victor, you, you mentioned. They just said we got to trust in each other, you know, uh, man for man. We're we've been through so much adversity as a team, especially this week, you know. And I think we just went out there and we were we were ready to go. And I just loved it. What does it mean to you to, to come up at this moment and you know have, have this moment through your <laughs> It means a lot for me, but it means more to the guys that were around me. You know, they they really helped me um, have a great game and. I'm just, I just can't be more thankful for them.